What's up, Buttercups? It's me, Amy Young. I'm coming at you with a Friday Freestyle. Uh, something's been really like gnawing at my brain lately and I wanted to talk about it here with all of you. Um, I want to know if you believe that you're special. Do you think there's something special about you? Do you think that you kind of like, I don't know, are sort of one of a kind, extra snowflakey? What do you think about yourself? Are you like, I'm special? Or are you like, I'm pretty like average, run of the mill? I don't know, mm, me special? This is like a super loaded, these are super loaded questions and kind of a loaded topic to talk about right now because um, people are like vehemently against this idea that like each of us is like special or that like we're all like snowflakes. And I'm talking, I guess I'm talking more kind of about like millennials. Um, although people apply that to like a lot of different groups of people. But, um, you know, there's this idea that like we've been told that we're special and that that's part of our problem. Um, we didn't do anything to deserve the title of special. Uh, I have so many thoughts and feelings and I need to organize them for a second. So the first thing I want to say is I am uh, completely on board with the with the reality of life which is that there are uh, bazillions of us and there have been bazillions before us and there will be bazillions after us, assuming, you know, that the planet continues after all of us are gone. And in the grand, large, huge, zoomed out scheme of things, none of us fucking matter. We are a blip. We are a speck of dust. What is it like you're a speck of dust on God's toenail? <laughs> Whatever that means. None of this matters. The stuff that you're worried about, the stuff that you're concerned about. Sometimes I find the most comfort in reminding myself that like in five years, this won't matter. In 10 years, this definitely won't matter. And in a hundred years, sister, you're gonna be gone. So like, don't even worry. Don't even stress. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go now. I find major comfort in just tuning into existentialism. I might be kind of weird like that, but that will only take you so far in life because the reality is that we have to be here for a little while. And while we might not matter in this like grand, huge, universal legacy standpoint because the sun is gonna fucking explode, we have to be here for this little window of time. And what is this little window of time going to be like for us? What are we gonna do with this little window that we have? How are we gonna survive it? Because to participate in something like life when you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know where things are going to go, and you don't know you don't know who you are even in some capacities, you don't know who you're going to be, you don't know like what tomorrow holds, and and the only thing you kind of do know is that someday you're going to die and it's all going to be over. That's a real mind fuck. I mean, that's like an amusement ride from hell. That's like thing things are constantly like popping up and you have to deal with them and circumstances arise and you have to show up and figure out who you want to be and like how you're going to respond to it. I mean, life is weird. Can we all agree with that? And when life is really weird and it's limited time only and in the back of all of our like very knowledgeable minds, we know that none of it's really going to matter in the long, long run. Something that I find very comforting to invest in and believe in and hang my hat on and choose to subscribe to is that we are all kind of super special snowflakey. Just as a belief system, just as a way to get through life. Because if I didn't believe that about myself, and if I didn't believe that about other people, that other people are valuable, that I'm uniquely valuable, it would be really hard for me to interact with other humans, to not get pissed when somebody cuts me off in traffic. I mean, I'm, I'm from Boston and I learned to drive in the city and we're notoriously horrible drivers, neither here nor there. I do get pissed when people cut me off, but it would be really hard to like, function in society and just exist if I constantly invested in the idea that none of this matters and we're all like just pawns and like oh just this is all for nothing I mean that's like a that's like a sad way to think about it whether it's true or not right like people who point the finger at like <laughs> me sitting over in Camp Snowflake and being like, you are special. You do have unique gifts and talents. Nobody's quite like you. People who point their finger at me and say like, well, what, what right do you have to say that about people? What do you know? I'm like, what are you like the, the fun police? Like, you know, what the fuck is so wrong with choosing to believe that human beings are inherently valuable and have worth and capabilities and gifts and talents and that we're all special in some capacity? Like who shat on you? 
You know, I feel like those are the same people who are like, well, why tell your kids that, to, that Santa Claus is real? You know, like, why are you lying to your children? And I'm like, because believing in Santa Claus is like a super fun, magical aspect of life for a little while. And life is fucking hard. Okay, so like, why not have this little opportunity to just believe in some magic and have fun? And that's how I feel about believing that each of us are special. Is I'm like, it's something that takes the edge off, Captain Downer. Like, it's something that can make each of us feel like it's all not for nothing. And I could create something cool with my life. And regardless of what I've been told or how much support or lack thereof I received, I can still decide that I do have meaning and I am valuable and I do have unique gifts and talents. Maybe I'm not even sure what they are yet, but I'd like to believe that that's true about me because it makes life feel more exciting. And I'm looking forward to uncovering what is special about me. And I'm excited to learn how I'm uniquely valuable. Doesn't that make getting out of bed maybe a wee bit easier in the morning than to open your eyes and be smacked with another dose of reality that's like, this is all for nothing. I mean, it's very depressing. It's a real downer. And I'm not someone who cares a lot about like, well, what's true or not? Like, I think people who are arguing about like, well, is it true that people are special? Well, obviously not. It's like, who gives a shit? What helps you live your goddamn life? If living your life is easier because you prescribe to nihilism or existentialism or just like whatever, you know, like none of it does matter. So who cares? Have at it. Believe it. If that helps you get your shit done, you do you. But if you're looking for some meaning, if you feel like you, your life is a little bit meaningless or you're not sure if, if you are special, I really want to invite you to explore that perspective, to just try it on like a coat, you know, and just say, what would my life be like if I believed that I was a fucking snowflake? and that I wasn't like anybody else, and that this all hasn't happened to me for nothing, and that all of my struggles and all of my strengths, they're all valuable. And I have things to learn and things to share, and I can touch other people, <laughs> not like that, maybe like that sometimes with consent, but I can have an impact on others. How does life feel when you think about yourself that way? Does it make a difference? I tend to see in my work with people and also just being a human and experimenting with this shit myself makes a big old difference. Makes a big difference when you feel meaningful and valuable. Um, which is why I choose to hang out in Camp Special Snowflake and why part of my life's work is to help each of us understand what is special about you. What hasn't been recognized that needs to be recognized because there is something uniquely lovable about every fucking human under the sun. It's just true. You ever seen like a bunch of babies in a hospital? When you look at all the babies, you're like, ooh, that one, I hate that one. Even the ugly babies, you're like, but that baby's really ugly, but it's like that cute kind of ugly. We all come into this life and we're like, we're like these weird little beings and, and we are all going to die. That's the one thing we can be certain of. Everything else, who the fuck knows? So we have to decide for ourselves, what's gonna help me on this journey? And it's okay to test things out. It's okay to, to experiment with the idea that you are completely one of a kind and irreplaceable and isn't that kind of cool? Cause it's true. I digress. Um, I hope that you're having a great day, night, weekend, where most ever you are. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel so we can have more conversations like this. Um, I would also love, this is a new cool thing, I now have a Facebook page. Amy Young Coaching is live on Facebook. Um, the link is in the description box. You can go like and follow me over there because I'm, I'm gonna be doing more like Facebook Live videos in the coming weeks and months and obviously I want you to be part of it because um, I really want us to be able to dialogue. <laughs> Instead of just me talking to a camera and then uploading it. Um, what else? Oh yeah, if you want to sign up to be my email list, <laughs> the link is in the description box. There's so many links down there, guys. You can just, it's a smorgasbord, have at it or don't. Um, I'm just happy that you're here and that you're watching this. And I, I, I really do fucking believe that you're special and I would love to argue with you about it if you don't believe me. I'll prove it to you. Um, thanks again. And until next time, cutie pies.